Hi friends, in this video we will be learning about car horns, how car horns are working and how the electrical schematic is and how the electricity is going through different path and banging a horn. This all thing we will study in this video. Uh, so components index is alarm and relay circuit control unit, uh, fuse re relay box, high note horn, low, ho low note horn. So these components are involved, these all four components are involved and the rest is the diagram, electrical diagram I will discuss in a later moment. Here is the electrical diagram for the horns in a typical car. I mean if you learn on one model you can understand the rest of the model also in view of this circuit diagram. So here how the circuit diagram is working, hot at all times, this is keep unkeyed power, direct power which is coming from the battery through this 10 ampere horn fuse this is located in fuse relay box uh, this is situated in the engine compartment and from here this power is going uh, to this splice from this splice the power is distributed in two one is over here this later we will discuss in some video and this uh, side is coming to the relay this is a relay this is a horn relay so the horn relay is mm, taking this power and the coil this power is fed to the coil uh, battery positive is fed to the coil and from here you can see this is the control side here is the control side all is control side and here is the power side so first we will discuss about the power side and then we will come to the later to the control side also so here this power is distributed in two one is going to the coil the other is going to the contacts so here are the two contacts normally close and normally open so the normally open I mean the rest condition while the relay is off this is in this way so the power, this power is not going to any point, instead it is staying over here. So while this relay is energized, this will be connected, this contact will come to this normally open point and the power will be fed, will be fed to here, to this point. So while the power is fed to this point, you can see this is, there is another splice, this splice is distributing this power into two. So one is coming over here, the other is going to this. So one is the high note horn. The other is the low note horn, so in the in these both horns the power is distributed and the both horns are banging while we are pressing on the horn switch. So horn switch will be over here, I will discuss in a moment. As you can see this power is coming this, from this relay, this power is coming to the SRS coil assembly. What is SRS coil assembly is a supplementary restraint system. As you know, this is under the steering, there are some coils located, these coils are known as clock springs this is a clock spring assembly for SRS as well as for the horn so as the steering wheel we are turning all the time during driving uh, so if it was a solid connection it will be broken but it is not a solid connection instead there is a clock spring which is winding and unwinding all the time while we are uh, rotating the steering wheel so this is not breaking instead this is taking this power to this switch as you can see this is located over here these are the combination of four or six or maybe two or sometimes one switch as one is shown over here so this is the horn switch the horn switch is under the um, driver's inflammator module so while we are pressing on the um, and the horn button this is under under the steer uh, this over the steering there is a driver inflammator module this is abs module is there which is coming blown in the case of accident so underneath there are four or two or three switches or maybe one switch uh, while we are pressing on the horn button or in the on the module so the switch is made and a ground is provided to this point so while the ground is provided ground is traveled to this point and the power is there so 12 volt will come over here on this relay coil and that will energize this relay and the contact will made and the horn will bang so this is what is the all circuit how it is behaving and how it is working so hope friends you learned something from uh, this schematic and a lot of things maybe you understood from this schematic so if you understand this circuit diagram this is working almost for all cars and all cars horn system is nearly the same as this one is some tagging will be different but nearly the wiring diagram is the same so here are something they have provided uh, here is what is the lo component location as well as the circuit operation the circuit operation I already discussed if you like this video give a big thumbs up subscribe on my channel press on bell icon so you will get notifications for each upload thank you for watching